On this episode of AC Designs Garage, I'm going to show you how to set up your MIG welder by just doing a little listing. What'd you say? Coming up. Right, guys i'm gonna take you over here and show you what we got setting up here uh, i got an old millermatic 185 they don't have the voltage settings like the new machines and stuff and uh, i don't know how accurate the wire feed speed is and stuff so one way to remedy this is now we are going to set it our heat which would be our voltage up to basically what it's calling for so we're running 023 wire so we're gonna go on over here to 3 sixteenths that's what we're using so we're gonna set it on four. It's calling for 90 on a wire feed speed, but we're gonna just use our old ears and listen to it. And uh, this is the easy way to really dial your machine in right. Those parameters that they give you right there are really good for just getting it close, but this is the way you dial that mug in and get it running like a Cadillac. So I'm probably, it was calling for 90. We're gonna go up about 65 these numbers don't really mean anything because we're going to listen to it because i'm going to dial it down slow to start with and then i'm going to do it fast and then i'm going to do the optimal and i'm going to try to get this down and give you an arc shot and everything but i want you to really listen to the sound of the weld because if you strike an arc with you pull your trigger and it stumbles a little bit spits and sputters you know i'm going to show you how you can listen to it and tell and adjust your wire feed speed up or down either way just by listening not even looking at numbers so we got a few coupons here, just some regular old 3 16ths mild steel. I think this is 8 inch or something, but we're just going to do like a little T joint type and a little lap joint on these. But we got a little coupons here. We're just cleaning the mill scale off of it. Got our best opportunity to get the best well we can. We're going to get our stuff on and fire it up and see if we can listen to some stuff. Like I said, guys, really pay real close to attention the way it sounds. You want to, when it arcs off and just starts buzzing, it just has a nice constant same sound until you let off trigger. It's what you ultimately want. Anywho, here we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna set this up right now to where I think it should be pretty close. We'll run a few beads and we can uh, change just a little bit on the wire feed speed, but I'm gonna probably put it on. Now these numbers are irrelevant, don't matter because all machines are different but I'm gonna put it on the four and probably 85 or 90 that it called for, and then we can tune in from there. And uh, this is just a way to show you how to dial it in and get your best wells, but try to get a good arc shot. I've messed with some of my different settings, so hopefully y'all can see a little better. So I'm gonna use the whip and pause method. It's where, you, it's where you pull the trigger, get your puddle established, and then move forward just a hair and just rock back just a little, then go back forward again. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. But main thing is, listen to it. The art shot's just for your viewing pleasure. All right, guys, I'm gonna interrupt this awesome welding video that y'all are watching right now for our main sponsor today, me. So make sure you go scoop you up one of these super rad AC Designs Garage t-shirts Check out the artwork on the back that Ryan Ford did. And you can only get them at www.acdesignsgarage.com. Free shipping as of right now, so scoop you one up. And now back to the arcing and the sparking. All right, guys, I'm going to show you my little uh, welding setup. I have my phone set inside my shield. But you can see how close it is, so I'm having to try to weld around all this. It's not the best looking weld, but it's not horrible either. But I did want to show you my current welding situation. So make sure you put yourself in odd positions here welding because you're gonna have to do it someday, especially if you're filming. But I'll give you a little look. Still a little smoky warm. It turned out pretty good, I think. We're gonna start off with just the straight stringers on here. I'm gonna do it with two low wire speed. Right now we're on about 80, 85. Like I said before, numbers don't matter. Just listen to it. Once you get your uh, first setup parameters, then you can tune her on in. Just go up, you know, five inches per minute. I think that's what it is on the wire feed speed. But first I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, pretty drastically. All right, guys, here's our scrap coupons here. We got some uh, probably one inch by three inch, eighth inch mild steel, just some scrap we cut off. I had it laying around. We're gonna get our fancy arc shot set up here going and uh, 
we'll finish this little video up and hopefully this video help you guys out on uh special all you beginners setting up this stuff because it can be very confusing those numbers and gauges and junk everywhere uh as for gas i forgot to mention run a millermatic 185 on 023 wire and a 7525 argon carbon dioxide at 20 cfh so we'll get all that in there but we'll get this set up real quick and uh the first one's gonna be too slow wire feed speed we're not changing the voltage at all so here goes i don't want to spit and sputter real bad i do want to run and start good so we'll put this one we'll call this one a 60 i'm gonna write on them with the sharp hay we'll do 60 70 and 80. Now remember, we're not touching voltage at all. 60, 70, 80. So I'm going to write these on here. All right, guys, this is going to be at the 60 mark. Like I said, I don't know if that's inches per minute or on these old millers, if that's just a number to go off of. So I'm going to do you a long weld and just uh, sit back and enjoy the buzz of frying bacon. you can hear the spit and sputter and it's starting to come up on the two step so that's 60 now we're going to 70 all right guys we're cranking it up to the 70 next you guys should notice a drastic change in the sound of it instead of the popping a lot it should start smoothing out it may pop a little at the beginning on this but we'll see here we go 70 inches a minute sounded a little bit better now we're gonna go up to the 80 what i consider the sweet spot 80 82 in there on that all right guys here's your 60 if you notice how how small it is right there beginning with no heat where it was just spitting and sputtering and it finally got in a little bit but it's still spitting and sputtering Noticed a little bit of bb's here and there and we moved up to 70 now you're getting a little more more consistent on your bead here but you notice the more bb's and you can about tell how the get back here how the puddle goes out and goes back in like this that's where it's spitting and sputtering. When it gets to the skinny part, that's where it's doing a little spitting and sputtering and stuff. See if you can see it. Now here's the 80. Notice there's no little BBs on it. It's pretty consistent. Now, granted, it's on top of a piece of plate. It ain't going to just uber burn in unless you have it really crunk up. All right, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed that quick little video on listening to your wells. Because you listen to your wells, they'll tell you what they need. Seriously. But... Remember, guys, be kind to one another. Jesus loves you, so do we. God bless. We go.